Jodie Curran from 4573 TV. Down here at beautiful Yurumba Beach today, talking to Lee and Estelle from Coolamah North Shore Coast Care. So I'm here today with Lee and Estelle from Coolamah North Shore Coast Care. They're going to have a chat to us about what they're doing in the environment and for the local community to benefit us all. So Lee, could you tell me a little bit about what you do? Uh, we have a few separate arms to our organisation. We have uh, a volunteer team that uh, does dune re rehabilitation and revegetation. We have turtle monitors um, that also do marine debris surveys um, and we have the community nursery as, as a, in partnership with Moochie Water Watch. So Lee, what takes up most of your time? Uh, it's a combination of things. Um, there's a, a bit of management, a bit of coordinating and, and hands-on stuff as well. And Lee, can I ask, how many volunteers do you have? Um, we have about 150 members and probably 100 of those would be active volunteers. Estelle, you also co-manage the Coolum Community Native Nursery. Could you please tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's co-managed as a partnership with uh, Maruti Water Watch and it's been going for 10 years so far. Wow. Our seed collectors go out every Monday morning and collect um, seed from the local native plants and then grow them on and then this is sold on both to um, council and commercial operators, but also we have a retail section in our nursery for people who want to grow native in their own gardens. So what's the importance of the dunes? They're, they're really important for a lot of reasons. I mean, they're the buffer between the ocean and the land. They're a green corridor, which is really um, vital for our wildlife. And there is quite a lot of wildlife out here. We've done fauna and flora surveys on the dunes in the vicinity. and. There's actually a huge variety of bird life and we have wallabies and even things like echidnas as well as reptiles out here on the sand dunes. Estelle, how do you fund your activities? Well, we do get a, an operational grant from uh, Sunshine Coast Council of $23,000 a year, which covers um, uh, part-time administration and a part-time bookkeeper, about 12 or 13 hours a week. But the main funding we get for our projects, on the ground projects, is actually from the federal and state governments, um, such as an Everyone's Environment Grant we, we secured two or three years ago that has helped us employ contractors to assist in um, rehabilitating the dunes where then we can go on and maintain the areas afterwards. Wow, what a privilege to catch up with Lee and Estelle today from Coolum and North Shore Coast Care. The work they're doing is absolutely critical to save these dunes, which in turn saves the flora and the fauna. They've saved up to, or worked with up to 24 turtle nests, which have produced over 3,000 hatchlings. It is just imperative to keep this group going. The work they're doing is critical for our whole environment. What you can do to help, um, you can donate, you can volunteer your time. They've got over 150 volunteers at the moment. They've done over 12,000 hours of volunteer work in the past 12 months alone. These dunes are not regenerating at the moment. The plantings and the seedlings that they're putting in are critical to their survival and the survival of the turtles and all the other flora and fauna that come along with it. I'm Jodie Curran for 4573 TV.